and hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse Martin. I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at Photoshop and actions, how to record and play actions within Photoshop. And if you don't know what actions are, they are basically a neat little thing that Adobe has implemented in their design program here, where you can basically record a certain number of steps, as many steps as you want, pretty much. And after you've recorded those steps, you can then save them as an action and then you can basically play those steps whenever you're designing something so that you know the actions that you've done can basically be repeated this is especially good if you see yourself doing a lot of the same things for a lot of the different types of pictures for example if you're if you have a collection of pictures and all of these pictures you're cropping you know 400 by 400 and then you're you know increasing the brightness to 70 and decreasing the contrast to 40 and you know then adding you know, a, a text layer at the bottom right corner that basically says uh, family photos 2010. You know, you're going to be doing the same thing over and over for every single picture. So instead of, instead of having to do it for every single picture or having to copy and paste a layer for every single picture, there is an easy way to do it, which is just by recording your set of steps and then playing them for each of your photos. And it'll basically carry out the set of steps very easily and very quickly. So what we're going to be doing is, if I can go ahead and show you guys right now. What we're going to be doing is, I basically have a Polaroid uh, picture here. I, I hate how Windows 10 opens these now. But, we're going to have this Polaroid picture here. And what we're going to do is, we're going to basically, I have a, uh, a collection of five photos I got from Google. And these are basically like family pictures. And we're going to be placing these five photos into this Polaroid picture. Now, if you were to do this one by one, then, you know, it's basically going to take me two or three minutes to do this one, two or three minutes to do this one. So you're basically going to be using, like, what, a good a good um, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. But instead, you only need to do it to one picture, and you're going to record your steps that you're doing to one picture. And then all you have to do is open all these pictures and just quickly press play on the list of actions, and it'll do it for you. So, you'll see what I mean when it actually happens. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag in our... Well, actually, the first thing we're going to do is create a new folder. And we're going to name this Family Photos Edited. Now, we have a Family Photos Unedited and a Family Photos Edited. And we're just going to go ahead and open our first picture here. Then we're going to go to File, Place. Now, obviously, um, my steps are going to be different from your steps. Obviously, I'm just going to be showing you, you know, how to record your actions and play them. But the first step you want to do is, whenever you want to start, you know, recording your actions, you want to go up to Windows, go to Actions, and you see this will pop up right here. Now, what's going to happen for you is, let me just delete this, because these are my actions. What's going to happen for you is you're going to have this list here. Now, um, they have some cool actions here that Photoshop has for themselves. For example, you can turn all pictures into a wooden frame. You know, what you can do is just click this right here, and then when you press play at the bottom here, as you see, it turns a picture into a wooden frame. So, uh, Photoshop has some pre-made um, actions and sets here, um, which can be very useful if you like some of them. But for our purpose, we're going to create our own set. So, if you want to create your own set and your own action, what you're going to do is, well, let me, let me delete this. Let's just reopen it. So, if you want to go ahead and create your own uh, set, what you're going to do is, down at the bottom here, you're going to click this button right here, which is a new set, and we're going to call this Family Photos. You can name it whatever. And then you want to create a new action by clicking this button here, and we're going to name this Polaroid. And right now, it is recording. So, if you were, if you done recording, you press stop, obviously, but then you'll see it basically um, it basically saves it right now we have nothing saved so just be aware that when you click 
new action and you name your action when you click record it'll start recording so from here on everything that we do is basically going to be recorded so let's go ahead and move this right here all right so every time it's basically every time I press play on this action the following steps are gonna happen we're gonna be opening we're gonna go to file we're gonna go to place and we're gonna be opening our Polaroid picture actually don't place yet let me zoom out a bit place all right like that and then what we want to do is stretch it out a bit like so so that the black area will be covering the picture like so then we're gonna press enter and as you see as we are completing some of these actions the uh, the steps are being recorded here so pretty cool uh, the next thing we're gonna do after that we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this bottom layer and we're gonna drag it up here now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to um, make our canvas bigger so that so that the uh, the white portion of the Polaroid can be seen. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size, changes to pixels, and let's just make it a thousand by nine hundred. I'm not sure if this is going to fit. Yeah, let's make this a little bigger. Canvas size, pixels, let's make this 1,100. Okay, there we go. And then we're just going to go ahead and crop this. Like so. And then we're going to drag our duplicated layer and our duplicated layer to the top. I'm going to rasterize this layer first. Rasterize layer. And there we go. And now we're just going to zoom in a bit to make sure. And we're going to make sure we have our, our, um, this layer. So that you can even uh, delete this bottom layer because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to get our duplicate layer here, our background, whichever one you move to the top. And we're going to go ahead and go to edit, free transform. And we're just going to drag it out a bit so it covers the black same over here covers the black move this window over here and we need to do the top like that and then we make sure everything looks good we can zoom out apply we can zoom out and as you see we have our polar picture now we're just gonna go to file save as go to our desktop go to our family photos edited go to save now if you you know if, if you want to basically create this effect to all of your photos you're gonna have to open them all up and basically redo the entire thing that we just did now however we just basically recorded our actions so we can go up press stop here and now let's drag this window out you'll see that all of our actions have been recorded here under Polaroid you can create another set of action if you want to you know basically create another action like maybe a wooden frame or you know maybe a contrast brightness configuration but now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and open up all of our images. So we're going to go open, go back to our desktop, and we're going to go back to, and we're just going to open the rest of these. And now here is the cool part. We have all these four pictures open. All we got to do now is click our Polaroid action, click play, 
come over here, click play, come over here, click play, and come over here and click play. But as we see, it worked very well. And the reason why it worked very well is because all these pictures are the same size. They're all 800 by 600. Now, if you have a picture that's a different size, you know, different sizes, then it may be a little bit more complicated because you can't really, you can't really basically generalize. You can't generalize a set of actions across, you know, different sizes of pictures. Um, so that's why it works out really well for, you know, maybe if you have a camera and you and your and your pictures and your, all of your pictures basically, you know, are going to be in one resolution then you can basically do this. And the cool part of this now is that you don't, even need, you don't even need to save any of these. They're all already saved in your folder. If we go over here, for example, if we go to our folder here, where's our folder? Family Photos Edited, they're all here. So they're already all saved as PSDs, and they're all ready for us already. So it's a great little trick that you can do to save yourself a lot of time. And this is only one way of doing it. I mean, there, there's so many there's so many ways you can use this. You know, if you're if you're, if you're creating banners, or you know, you're creating a, a set of designed um, templates, or you know, anything like that. If you're creating anything that requires a lot of the same actions being redone over and over, then this is a great tool to use. The actions feature, where you can record your actions, and then you can, um, you know basically you play them whenever you want you can, and you can basically create a list of a bunch of different actions you could do so it's a nice little feature hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully it helped you out i know I, I didn't even know about this feature so hopefully some of you didn't know about the feature either and now you do know and um that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna be making more photoshop tutorials in the future if you don't have photoshop but you know you like this tutorial i have plenty of other tutorials as well and i have tutorials on gimp which is the free designing uh, program i have plenty of tutorials on that so check that out if you like and um, we'll be coming back with a new uh, Photoshop tutorial in the near future pretty soon. I have a list of tutorials that I want to show you guys. But for now, it's going to be it, guys. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much, everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.